Let's look at some of the commonly used tools in the field of data science. If you want to become a data scientist, you need to know these tools. One of the tools is programming languages. Now, you need to understand programming languages. Since we are in data science, we are going to be dealing with uh, large data. The traditional uh, software like Excel cannot handle very big data. And if you want to make query to your data, it, it will be very difficult, except to use all these programming languages. One of the programming languages for data science is Python. And Python is one of the most popular programming languages for data science. It has extensive libraries. So with these libraries, you will be able to do data manipulation, data cleaning. These libraries are NumPy, Pandas, CKPN. They provide powerful tools for data manipulation, analysis, and machine learning. Another programming language which is very, very important to data scientists is R. R is the language of data science. It's another widely used programming language in data science. It offers a comprehensive set of packages for statistical analysis. So with R, you can as well do statistical analysis, data visualization, and machine learning, just like uh, Python. The R as a language it can also be used for data science as well. Another tool that is very important as a data scientist is integrated development environments known as IDEs. In the, most, the commonly used IDEs in data science are Jupyter notebooks. Now, if you program in Python, the Jupyter notebook is, is very, very good. It is very easy to use, has an interactive uh, environment, and the Jupyter notebook provides an interactive environment for data exploration, analysis, and documentation. It also allows for the execution of code in blocks and the integration of code. You can visualize, you can also write explanatory text using the markdown function. The Jupyter notebook. Another interesting ID is the R Studio. Now, if you program in in uh, R language, then you can make use of R Studio. And R Studio is a popular integrated development environment for R programming. It offers a user-friendly interface for writing, executing. And also the building of your R code. Another tool in data science is data manipulation and analysis. Remember, I talked about the first two. The first two is programming languages. The second one is integrated development environment. And then the third one. The third tool is data manipulation and analysis. So, data manipulation analysis are being carried out using popular uh, libraries in both Python and R. In Python, you can use Panda. Panda is a Python library for data manipulation and analysis. It provides data structure and functions to efficiently handle structural data. So, where you can use your Panda is a very powerful uh, library in Python that you can use effectively for your data manipulation. You can use it for analysis as well. You can use it to clean your data. You can use it for filtering. You can also use it for application and other applications. It's a tool, it's a library that is very efficient when it comes to data manipulation and analysis. Um, when it is, if you are very, if you like R as your data science uh, 
to programming language. You have the GP, GPL wire uh, library in R. It, it works exactly like Panda. So it's, it's an R package for data manipulation. It offers a set of functions that enable easy and efficient data running, including filtering, grouping, summarizing, and joining data set. So data wrangling or merging is, is a way you go deeper into your data to be able to extract meaningful uh, data patterns. So this uh, library is as well very proficient and efficient for data manipulations. Then another tool, which is number four now, is data visualization. So in data science, we do we do data visualization and because we need to present our results to a layman who does not really understand what we are doing. So through data visualization, you will be able to communicate your ideas effectively. And so if you want to do data visualization, you can use Matplotlib. Matplotlib is a very powerful tool used in Python. It's a versatile plotting library for Python. It allows for the creation of a wide range of static, animated, and interactive visualizations, including line plots, bar chart, scatter plots, and heat maps. These are different types of charts that you can implement with Matplotlib as a Python library. Then there, there is another library which is also very intuitive, known as Sibon. Sibon is built on Matplotlib. You can also use it, it's very efficient. You can use it for area plots, you know, among the rest. Then if you are conversant with uh, R, uh, you can use ggplot2. This ggplot2 is an R package. You can use it for data visualization, unlike Matplotlib. So they, uh, they work hand in hand. So you can use it based on the grammar of graphics. You can use it for data visualization. It provides a flexible and intuitive framework of creating aesthetically pleasing and informative uh, visualization.